the Queen has called on the England football team to invoke the spirit of Bobby Moore when they face Italy in Sunday night's Euro 2020 final. The 95-year-old monarch urged Gareth Southgate's men to take inspiration from England's 1996 World Cup triumph when they walked out on a Wembley stadium for the historic showdown. In a short note addressed to coach Southgate, the monarch congratulated the national team on behalf of the entire royal family for reaching the final against Italy at Wembley Stadium. Victory would mark the men's football team's first major tournament win since the famous 1996 World Cup, also at Wembley. The Queen recalled presenting that trophy to Sir Bobby Moore almost six decades ago and seeing what it meant to the players and staff. In her message to the team, she said, 55 years ago, I was fortunate to present the World Cup to Bobby Moore and saw what it meant to the players, management and support staff to reach and win the final of a major international football tournament. I want to send my congratulations and that of my families to you all in reaching the final of the European Championships and send my good wishes for tomorrow with the hope that history will record not only your success but also the spirit, commitment and the pride with which you have conducted yourselves. Support has swelled in recent days across an expectant nation and the royal family has been gripped by football fever like every other person. The Queen's grandson, Prince William, is a famous fan of football and also president of the Football Association and will be attending the final. Football fans have urged the Duke to bring lucky mascot Prince George to Wembley Stadium to watch England take on Italy. The young prince stole the hearts of viewers as he cheered on the three Lions in their triumphant match against Germany last week while wearing a suit and sitting alongside his dad and mum Catherine. And after William excitedly tweeted about England's win against Denmark on Wednesday, his social media followers begged the royal to bring his eldest to the final for a spot of good luck. What a game, what a result, a huge team effort at England, 39-year-old William tweeted shortly after the match. The whole country will be behind you on Sunday, hashtag it's coming home, he added. Immediately, a fan responded with a picture of George alongside the comment, please can we have this young man at the final dad? We want to see you, your lovely wife and your son, George, on Sunday, added another. Third added, get our little Prince George there on Sunday. He can be our lucky mascot of England. Hashtag ENG, hashtag three lions. A fourth echoed, hope the charming Prince George will be at Wembley in the final. He is the lucky mascot of the lion's den. Hashtag it's coming home. Hashtag Euro 2020. Prince Charles has also backed England to go all the way and beat Italy, telling pub goers during a visit to Wales this week that it would be wonderful if they won. He revealed he will be watching the final at home, adding that watching the national side is not good for your nerves. Manager Southgate said it was fantastic to get a letter from the Queen and vowed he and the team are here to win for the final. He told reporters at a press conference on Saturday evening, we want to go and bring the trophy home. Fans lined the road and waved flags as they waved the team bus off on Saturday from the England training complex. Captain Harry Kane has acknowledged the strength of public feeling that was behind the team and national excitement that has built throughout the tournament. He said, they'll all be cheering us on around the country and we just can't wait to hopefully try and win the game for them. Addressing the press conference, he said, to see the fans on the street like they've been and to see the reception we've had as well as we've pulled into the hotel here and as we was leaving St George's Park, it has just shown us how big an occasion it is. He added, we know how much it means to the English fans all over the country, so we're proud to be representing them and hopefully we can do them proud again tomorrow night.